So, so basically, um, we are representing our V Park. V Park is, a, is a, the platform in creating park for the city, and uh, the project is funded by Thai Health Organization together um, with collaboration with the Bangkok Metropolitan Authorities and Tala, which is a Thai Association of Landscape Architect. I think we are facing the same problem as we are living in the, the big city. The more city is growing, the more green space is diminished. And Bangkok itself is lacking of the, in terms of the quantity, in terms of the accessibility, and in terms of the, the three um, qual, qual, quantity and also the quality. So I think the, the, the more we have less agreed, the more uh, environmental problem and social problem has created in terms of the environmental uh, pollutions and flooding and, and it has uh, losing the capacity and ability to mitigate the climate change in the near future. So I think everyone is aware that green is a solution, but however, it's not that easy to create green in the density, especially in, like in Bangkok. I think we have so many of the abandoned and leftover space waiting to be developed. However, when we develop the park, it's not really less funding to the people's um, well-being and requirement because we are lacking of part of the participatory process and, and um, co-creation uh, platform. I think how we're gonna pull all these resources and, and make sure that the creating green space is, can be um, uh, fast and, and, and inclusive of stakeholders. So we have, in, found it with, with that reason. So we, 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 we become the platform to engage all the stakeholders resources in terms of the funding, um, skill and knowledge, and also the, the level of space in the city and also the authority. So we are the, the platform in engaging all the stakeholders to this um, inclusive platform. So we work with the private sector or the, um, with the owner of the land if they uh, want to develop the land. And then we find the, um, the designer, the landscape architect, and work with the communities. And also we work with the local municipalities to making sure that when we develop the, the park of green space, it will not only um, uh, responding to the people's well-being, but also and, uh, and also responding to the, 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 the goal of the, of the city at the same time. So our mission is very clear. We are not only creating the green space in the of the physical space, but also we're empowering people to be part of the process. And we are also creating the knowledge to, to share amongst the, the society. And we have the five step of the repart process. Firstly, we would like to um, the citizen to uh, engage in fighting the leftover span in the city together. And then we bring those um, available land and then come up with a uh, sharing the idea of what is a new possibilities that those of our land going to be in the future. And then we're finding the, 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 the designer to develop the, the plan. And then we do the, the crowdfunding to, to making sure that everyone can, can, can co-funding the, the park. And of course, at the end, we're making sure that everyone can, can uh, co-manage. So we, but I think what we are focusing is not a big piece of land because it's hardly available in the city center. What we are focusing is a small piece of land, which is easily available, which is a leftover space in the city. And it is also making sure that once we develop this small piece of land to become a pocket park, it will uh, meet the requirement of the, the citizen where people can go into to the park at every 400 meter or every five or 10 minutes walk. So we also setting this goal together with the BMA in the next 10 years, we would like to increase in terms of the quantity, accessibility, and also the numbers of the tree in the city. And of course, I think we believe that the big challenge can tackle with these um, small interventions. And I think the small piece of land is, can be uh, available in many parts of the city, whether it's underneath the expressway, along the canal, along the footpath, or even at the rooftop. And it can answer to various types of their well-being in terms of their um, uh, increase of uh, um, urban biodiversities and improve them, uh, people well-being and become like a, uh, improve the uh, urban food security. And I think we can come up with a different um, infrastructure. So we, we, we see this as an opportunity to, to improve the city well-being by infill this small piece of land to become the, the city green infrastructure in many ways. I think the beauty of the small intervention is that it can infill into uh, the city, into, uh, it can be customized to fit into uh, different of the, the communities. And I would like to show you um, a full example of what we have achieved so far for the past two years. So the first one is uh, recently uh, completed last month. It's 
in the right in the city center, surrounded with the communities and commercial area. It's just, just a small piece of land. But of course, uh, we got this land of uh, the, one of the ladies donated to the uh, Bangkok Metropolitan Authority. And then we create like a workshops among the young um, students and come up with the ideas to work further with the communities, carry out a, a, a pop-up class to test and, and let the people try on, and then further develop to become the, the park. And then 95% of the park uh, was funded by the uh, BMA, but another 5% we do the crowdfunding to making sure that people can have the opportunity to create a park together with the, with, with the authority uh, themselves. And it, it's, it's kind of a nice pocket park because Within this uh, small piece of land, it can um, accommodate various type of the activities for um, young generations, which is near to, to the school and university that they can organize the events and it can fit to the senior citizen to have a small exercise and jogging track or for the nice walking and have the sitting uh, area for families to looking after the, the kids and, and children to run around in, in a, at the playground. Another one is um, in the city center as well. We carry out this kind of the walking tour to, to let the citizen find out. We call it a green fighter activities. And then we found this piece of land, just a small piece of land next to the canal. And it's abandoned space and nobody use it. So we developed that, um, this project together with the local municipalities and we carry out this uh, design competition and uh, the people in the community select uh, the scheme that they, they would like to, to happen. So now we develop it further. Another one is just a typical way of a uh, uh, small piece of land next, right next to the canal, since Bangkok has a lot of canal and we have a lot of this kind of space. And people utilize it, even it's just a small piece of land, just uh, six meter in width. So we developed this, fur this further together with the community, with young generations, and turned this abandoned space to become like a series of pocket park. Num there are five numbers of that to encourage people to walk from uh, train station to the river. So it becomes a nice walk around the canal. And one of that is already being completed to become the uh, playground and uh, exercise space for the senior citizen. And the last one is right underneath the expressway. So it's unutilized area. And then we carry out like a, a simple um, uh, activities like doing the painting and turning this gray and un unutilized space to become the brighter space for exercise and spot ground. So I think every step we, we try to encourage everyone to be part of that. So we're not only working with the communities, but we're also encouraging and empowering the young generation to be part of this um, creating the, uh, of, of the park for the city as well. And we are developing this kind of knowledge. You're almost out of time, <laughs> by the way. And so, so you can follow uh, further information in the Facebook to see almost uh, the activity in the near future. And also the database that people will encouraging to pin um, the, the vacant land available in the city to find where uh, will be the potential land to be developed and also the guidebook. So lastly, it's, it's about uh, changing the mindset that, that uh, the part is no longer developed by the top-down process. It can be the co-creation process. And at the same time, it's empowering people to create a sense of belonging to the city. So this is what we do. It's not only about the park as a physical space, creating part is about creating that and inclusive society at the same time. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good news, Mon, and sorry for uh, interrupting.